showing you here quickly what I've used and what we are going to use. On my palette I have an array of bright gel paints that I'm going to use to do the design. On nail tips that I have done two coats of pastel shades of gel polish that I have and then a matte top coat to finish. So to start with I'm coming in with a dotting tool and I'm just going to do two dots. One, two, Reload the dotting tool, do another two, one, two. So once I've been all the way around guys, I'm then going to bring the dotting tool in and put one in the middle. And then swap the dotting tool for a detailer brush. Not using any more gel, the gel that's already in the middle of those dots, I'm going to pull down in a wispy fashion into a triangle. So the two dots will be the wider end of the petal and I'm going to pull it down, wisp, 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 into like a triangle to meet in the middle. So following that round, I'm going to do that to all of the dots that we've popped on there. And then what I will do is flash cure that and then add a few more. We've got a lot to get through, guys, so we need to crack on. So on the end of my dotting tool, I have a little bit of white. And I'm just going to pop that in the middle of all the flowers. Fully cure that. Then we can move on to the next design. Again, we're going to use the dotting tool. And I'm going to wiggle, 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 and I'm going to drag that down. Put a little bit more on there if I'm not happy. Load up that dotting tool again. Put another dot on. Wiggle, 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 drag that down. Repeat that process. Now this petal, I'm going to let... Well, this is going to be the flower, actually. Three petals will meet the flower. And I want the petals to join at the bottom for the big yellow one at the top and then I'm going to come in and do some smaller ones on either side. So I'm going to come in with the blue, do exactly the same, wiggle, 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 drag it down, do a petal next to it, it's going to be a smaller flower, then I'll come in on the right hand side with that beautiful violet colour. I'm just going to do a couple. Now the petals here I don't really want to touch. If they do slightly it's not too bad but I want them to have a slight gap as it comes down. Once I'm happy I am going to fully cure that before I can come in with the black artisan gel paint. Here I'm going to go around all the flowers and I'm going to put in the little pollens. So with the detailer brush just a small dot and then drag it down really really lightly if you pull your brush down in light strokes you will get really fine lines and i'm going to follow that through on all of these little flowers so the violet the blue and the yellow Then what I'm going to do using the Black Artisan gel paint is put the little cup that the flower sits in. When I take it off screen like that guys I'm flash curing it. So I'm going to do the little cup that the flower sits in so like a little black triangle at the bottom and then pull down a little stalk. I'm going to do that on all three of those flowers and then I'm going to do some little dandelions. Now these are really really simple. 
So all I'm going to do is a little line and then some wispy dots all the way around. I'm going to do about three or four of those just to finish off that nail. And then I can pop it in the lamp and give it a full cure. That will then be nail number two. Once that's fully cured then we are going to go on to nail number three and here I'm going to have simplified this as much as possible to get an absolute fantastic effect and we're going to do some blossom. So I'm coming in with a dusky pink first and what I'm going to do again using the dotting tool in an array of about five clusters I'm going to do different size dots some big ones, medium ones, small ones, all with the same shade. If it's going off the nail, I'm doing it in threes. It looks better when it's in an odd number when you're working with flowers. And I'm going to do that all the way down this nail. Then what I'll do is fully cure this gel polish because we're going to do it in layers. Sorry, this is artisan gel paint, not polish, and it's in the pink, and this cures for 60 seconds. I'm trying to be really quiet here, guys. Everybody's still asleep, so I'm trying to keep it down, but I thought while I'm sat here with my coffee, I'll do a voiceover. Right, okay, so I'm coming in with the brown artisan gel paint here, guys, and I'm using the detailer brush, and I'm going to do the little stalks on these Japanese blossoms. Now, they're not curved, they are in straight lines. So to get the best effect, do it like a dog's leg. So it's like at an angle, so it's not round, curved. Avoid that when doing the blossoms. The stalks on this are going to be small, straight lines, all different thicknesses. And that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going in between this pink. And I'm just going to put the branches on these blossoms. So once I'm happy with that, I am going to fully cure it again. Because like I say, we're going to do it in layers. So then we're going to come in with the dotting tool again. And we're going to go in with a darker pink. Come on, Trey. Hurry up. So get that in the lamp. I love this effect. I just think it's so pretty. I love blossoms. And trying to make it, you know, as simple as possible, but really effective. I just love it. So I'm going in with this brighter but darker pink again with the dotting tool and I'm going to place the dark ones in between the lighter ones and I'm just going to do a few, just three, all different sizes again, not all big, not all small and I'm going to do that in the clusters that we've got that's already on there and again once I'm happy with the placement of that, get in the lamp fully cure it we're not going to flash coat because we need to put some more on top so i do fully cure that for 60 seconds using the dotting tool again we're going to come in with white and we're going to do some small dots in the clusters to finish off this beautiful blossom look. And I'm just going to do a few. I'm not going to go OTT with the white because white's quite prominent. And I don't want to take it away from that beautiful pink. And again, pop that in the lamp and give it a full cure. 
won't she be perfectly happy? Here it is finished, design number three. Okay guys, so that's three down. Design number four. So I'm coming in with a long detailer brush. You can use a striping brush and I'm using brown artisan gel paint here. And I'm gonna do two long stems on which to put my flowers and I'm gonna fully cure that. Then I'm gonna come in with my um, It's a thicker detailer brush this one it is a detailer brush but it is thicker so it's got more more bristles to it and i'm going to put a bead on there i'm going to wiggle 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 and drag to make like a teardrop shape that's what i'm going for here and once i'm happy with that i'm going to flash cure it just for about three to five seconds i'm going to use this beautiful daffodil yellow i'm going to wiggle 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 and then just drag to bring it to a point so you drag and lift quite happy with half a dozen of those so i'm going to pop that in the lamp and give it a full cure and then going to swap out that detail brush for a really fine detail brush i'm going to come in with brown artisan gel paint with a small bead i'm going to pop that on the teardrop shape at the bottom at the bell end of that bud and then I'm going to sweep it round to the left, round to the right. So I'm going to create the cup in which those bud flowers are sitting. Then with the bead that's at the bottom there, I'm going to use that gel paint and wisp that up. That will then give me a beautiful cup on which this yellow flower will sit in. And it wisps up so fine, so beautifully. You're working really small, but it's really effective. Another really simple design. So you just put a little bit there, sweep it round to the left, round to the right, and wisp those bits up. So all the techniques that we've learnt in today's video. So putting the bead on and then using that gel and using a wisp effect to pull it down. And then also the bead effect where we put the bead on and we wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and we lift to give the different shapes of the um, petals which we're going to use today. Okay, so I fully cured that and then what I'm going to do is just add a few little buds that ha I haven't opened up yet. So I'm going to put on a small branch and then just a couple of little buds. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and drag it down. I'm going to put another one on. And that's just to finish this beautiful flower effect. Put one more on there. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, does it need any more? And I'm like, yes, yes it does. I'm just going to put one more on there. And then what I'll do is pop that in the lamp. 60 second full cure for these artisan gel paints. go and there we have it so that's four down now what i thought to do is i've shown you some really fine flowers so i thought we'll do a big one a big one that's like spread out and i'm going to put it in the thickest part of the nail to get the better effect now i'm coming in with that thicker detailer brush and i'm going to do start in the corner with the petals that are going off the edge of that nail so I'm going to work in like a triangle effect. I'm going to leave a small gap between each petal because it's going to be sprayed out. It's going to be splayed out. It's going to be flat. That's the look I'm going for with this flower. It's going to be a flat flower. So again, I'm using the teardrop shape for the petals because it is the easiest one to do. It's at like a point at the bottom. It gets wider as it comes out and then a curve at the top doesn't get any simpler than that so you draw the shape and then you just fill it in like i said i'm doing the ones that are going off the nail first because that's the easiest you can flash cure this in between i have to because i'm clumsy as anything and i'm down bound to put my big fat hand or fingers or 
catch it on the table because that's how clumsy I am. <laughs> anyway, guys, so again, we're going to do this beautiful petal. Move on to the next one. And then again, we're coming off that nail. So you can tell that it's a flower. You can see that it's spread out. I don't want it to look like, you know, I've made it fit. In real life, you know, this would be a flat flower and it would come off the ends, the edges of the nail. So again, I'm going as close as I can, but leaving a slight gap between each petal. Following it round, I'm going to finish off that flower and fully cure it. Pop this last one on. Get it in the lamp. You can see now, beautiful flower shape. Get it in the lamp, full cure. Then we're going to come in and just add a little leaf on the edge here. Using the grass green artisan gel paint from Nail Chemi. These gel paints, honestly, they've lasted me ages, but I am getting through the black and white some now, you know, with all these art courses that I've been doing. I've brought three whites and two blacks. I know. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is come in the middle with the orange. Again, it's from the artisan gel paint set and I'm just going to do the middle then what I'm going to do is put that in the lamp for a full cure because I am going to come in and put some light and dark shading on the flower and you can't do that if the gel underneath is still wet so fully cure that then I'm going to come in with that daffodil yellow and I've swapped my brush now, we're using the really fine detailer brush because this is where we're going to put the detail in. So I'm going to put it where the light would hit it and then fade it into that orange. Add a little bit more dark yellow on the edge and then make, like I said, make sure it's faded and then clean that brush off and then pull it and that will then fade it into the yellow. Don't pull all of it, just pull the edge of it. I'm going to clean the brush, get that yellow off and then come in with a very small amount, really, really tiny amount of brown artisan gel paint and that will give the shading. Then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the light green to this leaf. Then we're going to pop it in the lamp and give it a full cure. To finish off this flower, we're going to be using the black artisan gel paint and the very fine detailer brush. First of all, we're going to add some dots in the middle for the pollen on the flower. Then round each of the petals on the flower, I am very finely, in wispy strokes, I am going to use the black artisan gel paint. I'm going to come up each side and then I'll do a couple of little wispy wiggly lines in the middle. Then I'm going to do a few of that on the leaf and then to finish it off I'm going to do some wispy grass bits coming out from behind the flower and that leaf that will finish off this design beautifully. Then guys it will need a full cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. Then that's the end of this video. I thought I would do some really easy nail art flower designs for you guys so that you can add this to your collection. If you've got any comments or questions, please feel free to pop them below. If you have enjoyed this little nail art play today, would you please take a moment and hit that thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed already, guys, I would absolutely love it if you would. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching today and as always there is a clip at the end to show you what we've done in detail there's a great photo there for you guys thank you very much once again and until next time stay safe thanks for watching bye